Greetings. Guten Tag. Talo Falava. Welcome to um, this day's uh, preaching ministry, especially uh, to my Snow King Club congregation and especially to my Knights and Chiefs of the 150 Day School program and SEC 1, SEC 2. Welcome, this is Dr. Snow Brown speaking to you all. Once again, it is nice to catch up with you all. Nice to know that I still exist and, and I'm still here. I, I just want you to all have a blessed, blessed day. But today, right, you're going to get the full, uh, another illustration, possibly another illustration that's great as you have already received. Only this one is going to be much uh, on a on a greater magnitude, on a much bigger mag magnitude. That's great. I don't know what it is on the Richter scale. What's that, honey bun? Akin to our kind angel samalama. What is our so-called magnitude for today's so-called preaching? And CKCTV Facebook. We want to go to a 10. Yeah, I, we could turn it off. We could turn the knob off. Uh, uh, the knob or the oven. Hmm. Up to 10, up to 10. On the Richter scale, is that Mr. Baker? Mr. Baker, Aki, Jawarin. Mayday, Mayday. That's great. Aki, Ogani, Tamla. What's that? Richter scale? Level 10? Right. Level 10, we will. I will try to match that hmm. as best I can. Being a natural pastor. I hope you've all had a lovely week, especially for my Nights of Jeeps the World of Today's World program. Well, I've had a very, very, you know, money, uh, what is significant overnight, overnight, this early morning and even the whole of last night. And I think that the, the guardian angel, Samam Lama, as well as Archangel Warren, have been doing a lot of, um, what do you call it, patrolling, patrolling inside our kingdom while I was trying to get some sleep last night that I couldn't sleep, that's correct. Because it sounds like they were dispensing judgment, they were dispensing judgment, but doing a lot of patrolling. As most, you know, military people and armed forces, about that time, early hours in the morning, they would be doing patrolling, wherever they are, in the so-called war-torn nations, which might be in the Middle East or somewhere else on this planet. So this morning, that's great, got woken up, my sleep was interrupted throughout my sleep, but even throughout this day, right from this morning, from the get-go, even right now. Mm, Guardian Angel Psalm of Lama and Archangel Warren have been what? Have been fuming, have been fuming and spitting out and spitting out brim and stone. Mm. And I mean, the gods are not happy. Her Majesty Queen Snow Brown as dispense possibly was dispensing judgment early this morning and all today hmm, and you're going to get the magnitude of what i'm talking about but i mean the neighbors here in the side of this building they're ignorant hmm. they're always ignorant but not when they want to take advantage of course it's a different story when you're dealing with red demons and white demons they always like to take advantage that's correct of this noble's preachings whether it be in my private abode or on my CKCTV Facebook or on another platform, it don't matter. Mm, like the, the YMCA, well, is it uh, Vusa, Vusa, V U W. That's great. V U W, I'm going to, uh, talking about Quackity Whacked. That's mentioned in my play, in my published play that is actually the manual for my now so called private, more not private ministry. And if you will all know by now, that's great. I'm a snow shepherd. I have my own way of preaching. My style of preaching it is unlike any kind of preaching. That's great. So a lot of you out there who are non-snow shepherds, snow sheep, who are only bystanders and observants, hmm, and no sipakas and rubber knickers, that's great that you're coming in to my kingdom. Be wary, be wary, you are entering territory. Well, so crossing your boundaries because you're not a Christian. You're not related to this noble. 
You're not part of my so-called kingdom. That's correct. But you're coming in with something which might be rafts. It might be all sorts of frustrations and whatnot. That's correct. You're seeking what? Well, don't look at me. That's correct. Don't you dare say that I'm your good luck because I, I ain't your good luck. I am not a good luck to any criminal organizations, whether it be Red Demon, White Demon, or some other demon. I am not a good luck to the prisoners. I am a good luck to the reborn Christians, but more so to the Knights Templar, and more so to the nobles and those who are meek. Worthy, I am only a good luck to my Lord. And to my queen, Her Majesty Queen Snow Brown, that's correct. So for the rest of you who don't belong, and I've warned you time and time again to get out of my kingdom, that's correct. Remember, there are lots of kingdoms out there. The Catholic Church has got their own kingdom, that's correct. And so do a lot of those other Jehovah Witnesses, uh, a lot of those uh, so-called flocks, uh, Christian denominations out there have got their own portal, they have got their own gateway to their own kingdoms, even the heavenly realms. That's correct. Now, as for the criminal organizations, you don't belong, you don't belong in my kingdom. That's correct. You've got to go and earn your own kingdom, but create your own ministries on your own platform, on your own private Facebook. Don't hijack this one. Don't hijack my kingdom. Don't hijack this noble, whether it be here, inside this building this address or outside this address you don't have a right to access this noble thank you very much that's correct you ain't on my level so what makes you think that you got a right to access my kingdom let alone enter it and that goes for the people of Aotearoa that's correct a lot of you are non-christians so what are you doing entering my kingdom just because it's, you know, it's it's children friendly and environmentally friendly and also family or, you know, seems to be family oriented or family uh, friendly. It don't mean what? Don't mean you should enter, let alone uh, contaminate. Contaminate because that's what's been happening. That's correct. Now, as for the white demon and the red, they, it seems like they've always taken advantage. Uh, of this noble in the last 25 years and especially in the last eight years at this address that I reside in. That has been a house of horrors. It has been a nightmare and it has been a real, real, I mean, it's worse in the wilderness, worse than, than any other type of uh, toxic. It's been really toxic, this environment, this address. That's correct. Especially with the unlawful entries, the home invasions, the dragging, the poisoning, you name it. That's correct. And for the people of Aotearoa, I've got a lot to, 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 to talk about today. Because the white demon and the red demon has been taking full advantage of your treaty partnership. And also, you've been taking advantage of a lot of the criminal uh, outlaw organizations in this country. What do I mean by that, people of Aotearoa? That's great. Goodness gracious. What do, what do I freaking mean by that? Well, you see, all of a sudden, because you got a right under the treaty document and partnership, it's been going on for over 180 years. That's great. You suddenly feel the need that if you wanted to teach anybody a lesson, let alone discipline anybody, any citizen in this country, it don't, ma it don't matter, in it, 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 you know, whether they are Christians or non-Christians, it makes no difference. But when you want to apply your so-called treaty protocols or Maori protocols, you, you know what I'm talking about. You take full advantage uh, of the so-called protocols Half of protocols from the criminal outlaw outfits in this country. That's correct. This is where I really don't like your treaty partnership. This is where I really can't stand your treaty partnership. That's correct. Because that's what I got down to here at this address. It was your treaty partnership. But you see, the white demon and the red demon don't know any better 
as long as they are given money by the money god and the sex god in the form of the treaty god. That's correct. What did I say? Say that again. I beg your pardon, Dr. Snow Brown. What are you insinuating? That's correct. Okay, can you repeat that for, for the viewers? That when these criminal organization want to benefit financially, vice versa, they will gain, that's right, they will get money from the money god and who is also the sex god, who is part of the treaty god, you name it. You, you, do you get what I'm talking about? Do you even get what I'm insinuating about? So the treaty god is the money god. And the sex god. And the god of war as well. Mm, deadly, deadly. Real deadly, all right? That if you said anything bad, which I, I preached against, and I, I have said some really radical, you know, uh, you know, me, what do you call it? Freedom expression, going right back to 2002. Uh, what do they do? They suddenly feel the need to torture people and teach them a lesson through harmful criminal organizations like the Red Demon and the White Demon on behalf of their treaty God. So anybody, let's just get down to the bottom of this. Anybody who tortures anyone and enslaves anybody on behalf of a treaty God, right, they can only be a God, that's correct. A treaty god. Why do you have to get so defensive and all of a sudden want to teach people a lesson and harm people on behalf of your treaty partnership? Why would you dare do that, Kiwis? Why would you go even there? Why would you cross that boundary? Whether it be with me or, or, or especially well, the head, of course, of a sovereign, independent, sovereign kingdom, it, it, it go, you know, a meek one, crystal kingdom. Remember, this is a reborn kingdom that's correct and, and you know you really have crossed now the head of all the churches of all the flocks on this planet did you know that that's correct so if i'm a, if, if i'm the very first that's correct reborn kingdom ever ever in, in you know in the history of all flocks and of all christian denominations then I could only be the king of all the Gentiles. And then I could only be the king of who? Then I could only be a private monarch. That's great. A meek private monarch. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Say that again. Who did you cross? Uh, you can cross anybody. Hmm. You can cross the Prime Minister of New Zealand because after all, she's just one person out of 4.8 million in this country. She only one, she only one woman, that's correct. You can cross her, you can cross her. People, especially the people of Aotearoa and especially the people of Kraiwara, you can cross her, that's correct. Because she won't teach you a lesson. Is she not likely to torture you either? Is she not likely to deny you your so-called uh, enti legal entitlements to your, benef your, your benefits? That's great, your payments? No, but you dare cross this noble, right? And I'm meek, that's great. Oh, oh, no, that, that's your problem? That's your problem. And it's the same thing for the white demon and the red demon. Who told you guys that you could cross this noble? Who told you that you could enter my private spaces? Let alone study me and let alone use my intellectual property or anything that I created. Who told you you could access me as well unlawfully? I ain't your, I'm not a member of your so-called organizations. That's great. I got nothing. I got nothing to do with any criminal organizations, whether it be this country or over in the States, USA, or over in next door neighbor, Australia, and not even down there in the islands where I originally born in Samoa, and not even in Germany. That's correct. What is going on with these people? I really don't understand. That's correct. But I think they're a bunch of maniacs. Yeah. Definitely. When you think about it. Oh, the nerve. 
serve. That's correct. Don't say you did that on behalf of His Majesty or His Royal Highness the monarchy. To hate that. That's right. Well, tell, 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 fiddle, fiddle. The, the servant. No. no. Don't you dare do that. Don't you dare do that on behalf of the king, the Mardi king, because he doesn't need your so-called, that you know, your, them to fight his battles. He's just one individual. Again, he just one king. That's correct. He just one, he just one king. But you see, this king here, I got the backing of my Lord, Jesus Christ, our Lord. I got the backing of Holy Mother, who is, that's right, the head of all the churches on this planet and also is the Mother Earth of this planet. Then I've got the backing of the Father, of the Son of God, that's correct. And on top of that, well, I must have the backing of my congregation, the Snow Grand Club congregation, of all the reborns on this planet. So as far as I'm concerned, the Mardi King is only one person, that's great. Prime Minister, one again, that's great. They don't have that kind of support, they don't have that kind of power, that's great. They might have the backing of all the world leaders and other so-called nobles as well, which might be the Tongan King, the Māori King, the people of Crywater and what, and the support of their communities in this country. But at the end of the day, if you are the paper God, is in the treaty God, the money God, that's correct, the sex God, in the form of your so-called special little covenant that I've just you know, unravel the script. Now, through my ministry and in my kingdom, that's been revealed by my so-called guardian angel, Sama Mama, then I'm afraid your God, treaty God, will be overruled. It will be overruled by my God and by all the gods from the heavenly kingdom. That's correct. So for all the Knights Templar out there, whether you were knighted by the so-called the, the Catholic Kingdom or any other kingdom, especially the Knights Templar in Germany, and there might be a lot in Scotland, but I feel that there is going to be quite a lot more in Germany. That's correct. Remember this. I am the head. I am the head, not the tail. I am the head. That's correct not the tail. So I'm not only a king in my own kingdom, that's correct. Well, I have a queen, of course, a sovereign head that is above me, that, that I preside because naturally as a Knights nice Templar, the queen, Queen Snow Brown, Holy Mother, is always the head, that's correct. So I'm not only a king on that level, but I'm also the head of my own meek church and the head of all the flocks in the Christian faith, and I mean the Jew, or oh, they say, well, I may as well say that you are related to the Jew because you are the king of the Gentiles. So I must be the next tree, right next to the tree, the olive tree that belongs to the, to the Jews. That's correct. So there will be only two kings in a lifetime of the Christian faith. I know. Say that again. There will only be two kings, for real, that's correct. One that came in the form of Jesus on a donkey, that's correct. Donkey for Jesus. Back in his days, in the Judaism, that's correct, the Hebrew. So he was the king of the Jews. I am the king of the Gentiles. Donkey for Maria. So I could only be a Maria, that's right. As in Queen Snow Brown. Oh, you all know knew that. No, I know that they knew what it made my play when they stole it. This is the problem with the white demon and the white and the so-called red demon who are in partnership with the treaty god and the money god and the sex god in this country is that you guys will always go behind my back and steal, you will only steal because that's all you know what to do. That is part of the Māori Treaty Protocols in this country. If you are in a secret partnership 
of some sort with the people, with the Pākehā, that's correct, and the Māori of these people, that's what they would do. So they wouldn't teach people like me, who was a foreigner, wasn't born in this country, that's great, their protocols, but they would apply and take advantage of their protocols. So as far as I'm concerned, hey, if you're not a Christian, get out and get out now of my kingdom. Leave it alone, leave it alone. Take a walk on the wild side if that's where you want to go to, that's great. Take a walk, take a step, step out, step out now. I'm giving you a second chance. You step out of my kingdom, and step into another kingdom because you don't belong in my kingdom right right so what are the people of Aotearoa doing a lot of them are not Christians what are you doing taking advantage of Christians sheeps uh, yeah sheeps from the flocks of Jesus what are you doing why do you need to enter their so-called private spaces why are you stealing from the so-called that's right the sheeps and the flocks of Jesus. Why are you sabotaging their efforts as well? Can you tell me? Can you, can you can enlighten me? Can you explain to me? That after 180 years, that's great. Do you know that all those billions and billions of money that your people have been getting through the so-called, the, the tribunal court mm, that was established specifically for violation of your treaty God principles? All those billions, that's correct. You know what? That, all that money you could have used. You could have used to, to that's right, to so gain full independence. You could have used it to create your own health care, medical care, hospitals, specifically for your people. You could have used it for something else like what? Creating low cost, that's right, cheap housing for your people. But what have your people been doing? All these freaking years, 180 years, all you've been doing is what? Is enjoying yourselves. That's great. Going and you know, having a good ride. That's great. Getting up to mischief. Mm. Taking money from the money God of your treaty God. Having sex with the Pākehā is about all you're good at and it's about the only hope of resurrection, which you got none of that you care about. That's great. And if you care more about your treaty God, and your language, did you know that you've actually contaminated? You've not only contaminated the white man in this country, you've contaminated this noble. You've tried to, but you didn't win over me. That's great. And then you try to contaminate almost every other citizen in this country. Hijack them as well with your so-called, your Māori culture. That's right, your language. Mm. You're, you're insisting on for, for everybody to speak your language, to speak your mother tongue, which you, you, you were created with a mouthpiece. You were created with your own, that's right. You had the Māori culture, you were born with it. Why don't you use that? That's correct. What have you become? You have become not only selfish, but arrogant, but rude, but also greedy, you fucking motherfuckers. That's right, you son of a bitches. When is it going to end? This constant battle of you wanting to steal from this noble and take advantage of me. I wasn't created by my Lord to serve the interests of outlaw organizations or criminal organizations. They allow right back children like that on that level. No! I did not come here to be a slave. Not to your people. Not to even to the Māori King. And not even to the Crown of New Zealand. You damn well ain't gonna take that. That's right. Take the mickey out of me. You have the nerve. You are the most selfish race on this planet. Not just on this planet, but in this country as well. With your treaty God, right. Good luck, good luck with your treaty God, guys. Don't enter my kingdom. I've warned you so many times. You do not enter my kingdom if you are arrogant, rude, that's great, greedy, selfish, and on top of that, you still want to apply your harmful protocols, which have got nothing to do with my kingdom and my law. Nothing. You don't even know how to fucking earn a kingdom. You wouldn't know how to. The only thing that the white man has given you in this country is your 
your circle money, sex, booze, drugs, you name it. Nothing but disintegration. There ain't no prosperity in your own backyard. Junkyards more like it. When I think about it. If you're watching for nobles like me, your country, your citizen wouldn't be so blessed. But they're blessed in the wrong fucking way. And you have the nerve that's correct. Don't you dare call me a whore or a prostitute. Don't you dare. You like to think that that's the problem with your treaty, God, is that that's exactly what you convert your people in this fucking country. Nothing more than sex slaves to the white man to satisfy their sex addictions. That's correct. Do you know they'd rather have sex than, than to pay to the pay for their to the pay for anything the right way? Did you know that? Do you know that they can kill people just by having sex with a white man that is fucking racist? Did you know that too? Oh, you already knew all of those sort of ins and outs. You know all there is to know. That's great. How to take somebody out. How to control somebody just by having sex with the sex God and the money God. And the, that is part of the treaty God of that. Evil fucking arrangement that is so fucking racist. You know, man, you know what? It's not right to fuck a buck out and then you think you can earn more money than everybody else. They're sweating their blood and their sweat is great. Doing things the right way. That's right, white demon. Do you know you have no right to enter my kingdom? Do you know what? You, you, I'm not your member. But don't you fucking hijack me in my own fucking kingdom. Nobody told them to do what they do. They should have learned 180 years ago. That's great. To do things the right way. But oh no. Oh no, it's just easy to do it this way because I get to enjoy having sex with nice looking racist podcasts who, by the way, I would rather throw in the fire. I got no time for it because they are idiots and they are insane and they're maniacs. Now, you know what level I'm preaching from today? Magnitude number 10. I hope to God that the gods don't that an earthquake doesn't happen to that this year i hope to god that, that but but with mother earth that's great anything can happen the selfishness of these people is incredible now you know what it takes to earn a kingdom people of aotearoa people of cryota you gotta get out there Get out of my kingdom and go and earn your kingdom now. Right? Right. Right. The right way. Because we Christians, snow sheep, snow shepherds, we can tell you to get back in the line now. You don't always be first now. We're going to tell you to get to the back of the line. Wait, wait there. Go and get something the right way. Because about the only thing that my God is going to do, every time you bring something, we're just going to throw it in the rubbish, give it to you. I'm just going to throw it in the, the rubbish. That's great. If it ain't right. So you, red, white demon, I'm talking about a cool guy's clan, whatever you are, I think Donald Duck should be the head of your so-called organization. That's correct. You don't belong in any flocks. You don't dictate to any flocks that belong to Jesus. You can dictate to all those criminal organizations. Right? Right. You can do what you like, manipulate what you like in the system, but you need the fuck out of every flock, of every kingdom. That's correct. Because if you want war in your backyard, if you want to be eradicated 
and annihilate it, but removed out of this, 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 this planet, I can make that happen. I can make that your wish. Being the king of the Gentiles, I can fucking well do it. Amen, amen, amen. That lawyer ain't not to obey. He ain't no Christian. What the fuck is he doing? Dictated to my privileges. Who the fuck do you think you are, Englishman? That's correct. No wonder you like the so-called treaty people. You like the sex, don't you? Yeah, they do that. Well then, I suggest you stay out of my kingdom. You stop taking things out of context and misapplying and abusing. That's correct. Whatever. Entering my kingdom and taking it out of context. I told you again, you dumbasses, don't enter. Right? Don't read the stuff. You ain't a royal for God's sake. You're not a fucking noble, so get out. Is that hard to tell you? Why, won't, why do you need to get into my kingdom? You ain't, you don't belong there. Do I know you? The only thing you do is criticize. You want sex? If you want fucking sex, you ain't gonna get it from me. Go to the brothels, right? Go among to your organization and have sex with them. But don't you dare. Expect that from me. Or any of my family. But don't you dare either dictate to them. You commoners. You are nothing more than just commoners. We might be poor. We might not have any money. And it's only because we are not the money God. We are not the sex God. We are not a treaty God. And it's also because we are not garbages. We are not rubbish. But you are. That's why you've got no respect for me. Now, understand now why I'm an outsider? In fact, this is for all the Samoans. Hmm. I'm a Knights Templar. True to my calling, true to my makeup, that's correct. You know, I will never ever apply any of your so called indigenous, that's correct, cultural aspects which I got respect for, but I will not apply them as a Knights Templar. That's my loyalty to my Lord and the loyalty to my Queen. Meaning, I will never apply any so-called stupid fa'alavilavi and all those Samoan stuff that's great, indigenous stuff, the same for the Maoris. You know what? Leave your protocols inside where, where it belongs. But if you ever think that I'm going to attend your function and speak your language, dream again, dream again. Hmm. You know, that's great. Some people are better off alone, alone, left alone. Don't come near me. Do you think I don't know what you people in this country are trying to do? Do you think I don't know what you're fucking trying to do to me? Do you think I give a fuck? You give a damn if you ignore me? Do you think I give a damn if you don't give me a donation? Do you think I give a damn if you don't even call me Dr. Snow Brown? And you don't show any respect to me on the street? Hell no! I know who I am, and I know who my God is. And I don't need any of your stuff. I don't need any of your protocols. I don't need any of your rubbishes to be part of my kingdom. That's correct. So my knights and chiefs, remember this now. There's only one person, there's only one person they should listen to. And that is Dr. Snow Brown, the Snow Shepherd. That's correct. As for the rest of them, who wasted their so-called gifts and talents and wasted their time having a good, jolly good time while they tortured the fuck out and enslaved everybody else. They were righteous in doing things the godly way. You people, let's get out and get out. Cut! I don't want any of you to come near me. I don't want you to even acknowledge me, let alone say anything. 
guess you respect me, but at least you know me. If you don't know me, carry on, carry on. Let's go read. Now you know why I will leave your country. Oh, yes, there is no doubt I will leave your country peacefully. That is short and nice to poke at each other. That's correct. You just lucky that I'm not a white person. That's great. That I don't look like a Pakia. You just lucky that I don't have blonde hair and blue eyes. My God, you little on white skin. Mm. Like the rest of the so-called Pakias in this country. Man, you would just be you would have just gotten it from me. Especially that treaty, treaty so-called partnership of yours that that you've been enjoying, misapplying, and abusing all these years, huh? that I've never been at liberty to apply it, that's great, and misuse it, and whatnot. You're just lucky, you just thank your lucky stars, that I gave you that, that's right, that I let you be, do that, that you let, that's right. But I tell you, when the end comes, you just make sure you be ready, because my God will conquer your God and will bury your fucking treaty God and your money God and your sex God and your drug God. I will bury your God. That's correct. I will overrule your God. You just lucky? Oh, you better stay in this country because if you go in any other countries, you, you know what they'll do to you. That's correct. Now they know. Now they know. The only thing that the people of Cry Road have been doing, the so-called racist, or, 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 you know, racist park here, yeah, that doesn't know any better, that is such an idiot and a dumb fuck in this country. That's great. All because they can, they got more money and blah, blah, blah. You know what? I got no time. I got no time for any of you. Anybody who's fucking racist, I got no time for. I don't give a fuck about your treaty and your bullshit and whatnot because my God is above your treaty, God. Yeah, amen, amen. Any day. Amen. So don't read the Bible of God. Don't even open it, right? If you ain't faithful, if you're just going to use the Christian God, our Lord, just another camouflage. On top of another camouflage to cover up your so fucking sex addiction and your money addiction and your stealing addiction. Don't you dare. Don't, don't, don't you dare. Because people like us, that's right, are smarter and we see right through you. That's great. And about the only thing we want to do to you is to put a spear right through you. That's great. Because you are traitors to my God. You are traitors to us. You always be and you always will be. So don't come near me when I'm out there. I don't want any of you to come near me. You hear me? You stay right away. That's correct. You don't even need to use my so-called intellectual property. You don't need to enter my kingdom. You don't even need to pray into it. You don't need to use my holy altar either. That's correct. Don't you dare experiment with me. Study me for your experiments. You know, for the rest of you who are Māori people, who are in criminal organizations, you know what? It's about time you started targeting your so-called non-Christians people, people of cry water that are in those eeries and hapus. It's about time that those are the only types of people and the only, yeah, one said our liberty and privilege to be targeted by the rest of you. Amen, amen. But as for the Christians, you got no right to go there. None whatsoever. Whether it to be used then for your so-called harmful protocols or for your experiments or to take advantage. No, no, don't go there. You chose to be on the wrong side of the track. So stay there. Go among your own and sort. And target them. Target them. What do you suppose would happen? That's correct. Now that I'm the king of that, that you all know. Well, a new revelation, of course. That I'm the king of the, the Gentiles. That's correct. I can tell you right now. 
that the white demon and the red demon will be taught a lesson. What would happen? I got a right to, to command and, and like a general in the army. That's great. In the military. To bring all the reborns that, that are from prisons and that are from also outlaw organizations in America to come and go up against these ones here in this country. Teach them a lesson. I want all the Marais to be burnt down. I want them all to be dragged outside. That's great. We are going to give them a good hiding. But they're going to be taught a lesson. That's great. And that will be my right to do so. For crossing your boundaries when you had no right to do so. Now which one were you ask? Them or the Nazi soldiers? Or the Third Reich Armed Forces? Which one are you have it? Well, you, you don't want the Egyptians to be called upon to come because when they come, they do a fucking good job. That's correct. There's no fucking around. Oh, do you want the Taliban to come and deal with you on your own level? Right, because I got the power. The Mighty King doesn't have those kind of powers. You bet. So you got a lot of money. You can show off. Oh, you can show off, all right. You can threaten me. That's great. You you can torture me. That's right. You've already have. But at the end of the day, you will not kill my God and you will not kill the God inside my fucking body, spirit, my You name it. You won't be able to. Why do you need to listen to my guardian angel anyway? That's correct. You're not godly people anyway. So don't use me again to promote your so-called cultures and whatnot in this country. Get your own Facebook. Tell the government of New Zealand to get your own Facebook. Get your own church TV, that's correct. To promote your so-called, uh, you know, happy, happy partnership, that's correct, for the rest of your days. But oh my God, woo, woo. Woo to, to, to the rest of us, that's correct. Who, who will be always be targeted, that's right. Woo to, to, that's right. Now you know why the, the so-called garden angel is always preaching. I just didn't understand anyone. Why they needed to target you all these years. And why didn't they, you know, if you, if you were going to, you know, if I wasn't going to be part of your treaty partnership because I didn't look back yeah, And also because I didn't fuck a park yeah. And I mean, full on in this country, that's correct. And, and then I didn't, you know, do the same with the Maori. Because, you know, you got it. You, 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 you just, you either get it, you either are a part of it or not. Well, I'm sorry. It's just as well that I earned my kingdom the right way. And obviously, my God, yeah, my Lord made the right decision to give you your kingdom and to give you the guardian angel. Well, I have not abandoned my so-called mission. I have been faithful. That's great. Although here I'm taking every time. I, I'm, I'm taking one of my life at risk as well. That's great. Every time I have to preach about them. That's correct. But I hope, honey man, I hope they learn their lesson. I hope to God. Hmm. If they miss out on the hope of resurrection. And if they miss out on other blessings. Well, then you know why. You didn't deserve this noble. You don't fucking deserve me. You never did. If you knew how to look after me and respect me, Jesus Christ, your treaty God was above, uh, all else was above everything in this country. Your money God, your sex God, your drug God, right? Keep it. Keep it there. I don't want it. And I don't want to speak your language at all, to be honest. You all know that. So don't expect anything of the sort from me. Not when you just stole. You stole! That's correct! When I think about the movie of what? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Well, I'm sorry, New Zealand, but you failed. You failed because you stole from the snowball. And you did. And you sure did. And you ran away. Yeah, that's great. And you ran away with it when you got it. That's great. 
and that's what you've been doing in the last eight years in the last 25 years all you've been doing is stealing from this noble and taking full advantage for your advancement for the advancement of your treaty god and the advancement of your so-called selfish lazy son of a bitch people that's great who don't deserve this noble that's about all you've been doing you know what good luck good luck Now, as for my Knights of Chiefs, continue doing your programs. But like I said, your restraining orders got to be filed. Mm. You want to be part of my kingdom? You got to file that restraining order. Just like I will do. At my Lord's Liberty and at my so-called Queen's Liberty and at my the mercy of my God. That's great. I will. Time to get rid. Time to bury the enemies. It is time to get rid of Satan. It is time to bury Satan. That's correct. It is time for them to go the long way and to end their own kingdom. The right way. <clears throat> and I don't need to apologize. I don't need to apologize because I'm a natural old pastor. And I won't apologize to nobody. Whether it be your treaty God, you name it. And if you tell me to take it back, I'll tell you the same thing. Everything that you've been giving me that is not part of my, uh, you know, my faith, not part of my heritage, not, not even part of my, not even close to it, to my kingdom, you can have it all back. You can take it all back. When you get the restraining order, you can have it all back. That's great. How's that? But from now on, you want to target anybody that's part of your treaty document, you do so minus the fact that they are snow sheep, snow shepherds. You don't even touch any of my snow sheep and no snow shepherds. We got that clear? We got that clear because you will have war. But I will give you the death penalty if you ever dare touch any of my snow sheep and snow shepherds. You won't have a fucking chance. That's correct. You hear me? You hear me? We got that clear? You got your own money. Use your own stuff. That's correct. Get out. Get out of my kingdom. I only accept those that have that, that, that understand my teachings and understand who what I mean by snow sheep, snow shepherds. But as for the rest of you, you can get out of my kingdom now and stay out. Stay out! Go and find another kingdom. Go and create your own club. That's correct. Go and create your company. Don't use, don't use my titles. Don't use my treasures. Don't use my holy emblems. That's correct. For you, Archbishop, and the rest of you Catholic, right. The fact that you have been excluded, and I mean excluded, that's great. It's because why? It's because of your selfishness. And your racist and your jealousy, right? You can stuck that, stick that, stick that on your foreheads. That's correct. Right, right. The fact that I used the rosary prayer and that—that that was because that was a gift from my Lord that I earned. In other words, I earned the rosary prayer. I earned the rosary of the holy wounds. I earned those prayers. That's correct. Therefore, as for my rules, you do you. That's those are not yours. My play ain't for you either. That's for my private monarch. That is for my knights of chiefs. That's correct. Oh, you think it was easy to earn a, a kingdom? Do you think it was just that simple to come up and write a play like that? And come up with so, those sort of ideas? Do you think it was that, that simple? You know what? For a lot of you who don't believe in any God, good luck, good luck. Hmm. Go to the racist white man, that's great, or whoever, that you get your money from, that you get your daily fix from, that you get whatever because you don't believe in any God, because you think God is a myth. And you also think, if you don't believe in my God, hey, if you hear me preach this way, you know what? That's from my queen. That's correct. I have a guardian angel. And you hear that guardian angel? Is, is, does it give a fuck? Does it care about any of you? But when he's got to preach about God, that's correct. Godly things, he, you can't hold back that. You don't even have a backing, that's correct. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I've got a guardian angel. I've got God's seal and I've got God's backing, which you will never have. 
Because you are lazy and selfish and was always doing something, doing things the wrong way. You were always fucking the park here. For what you can get going behind other people that's correct, telling stories, telling lies, and trying to destroy other people's reputation when you forgot to fucking count. Have a, have a good look. Have a look at, have a good look at yourselves. To see if you're any better. To see if you have any heart of any sort. As for the university, Victoria University, I don't give a fuck about your university. I don't give a fuck either about what happens to your students. But I'll tell you right this now. You get out of my kingdom. You stay out of my kingdom. You don't dictate to my privileges. Do you hear me? You don't dictate to me. You don't own my kingdom. The audacity and the nerve now you all look like fools. Entering my kingdom, using my holy altar, and they have and, and they are not even qualified to do so. And they got the nerve to try and dictate, manipulate, and let alone hijack contaminate my, 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 my so-called kingdom so that so that what? So that I can meet your bloody needs, so that I can convert it, so you can convert it. Into what? Into a money god? Into a sex god? Into a sex kingdom and a money a kingdom, that's great. And a kingdom that, that, and a treaty kingdom. Right. You now know that I don't care. And then, no, 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 Victoria University. I'm sorry. I've always respected my teachers. During my so-called, uh, you know, as a student there, that's correct. You know, when I don't talk to people and when I don't need to give attention to anybody, I've got respect. I've got respect for myself. And respect for my family, that's great. But when people go and say things behind my backs about me, and they don't even know who I am, and you got no right to even open your mouth in the first place, when you don't even know who I am, that's great. I got no time, I've got no time for any of you. Mr. Prick, it, you know, this is the problem with a lot of married men, that's great, who were actually, who knew how to apply the treaty the treaty partnership really well. Mr. Prick knows the ins and outs of the Māori people in this country, the people of Cry Water in this country. Know, really, know it really well. Mm. People that have grown up in this country know how to apply the treaty, yeah, that partnership. Badly, badly. Mm. Like the plagues of sex god. Mm. And Mr. Prick was a married man and all he loved doing, you know, with, with a lot of majority of so-called dumb asses and losers that are married men the only thing they want to do is convert single women to sort of whores and prostitutes and slaves you know and that's all they like to do but i mean the person who they stole whatever their so-called you know the, the, the their womanhood or their virginity that's great they couldn't care less because hey they know better they know better mr prick i hope you live long but, I, but, but my guess is he ain't going to live very long. That's great. Because the university, you know, being a lot of a lot of people here in this country, a lot of men in this country who are prejudiced and racist towards the people of crime water for all the wrong reasons. That's great. I don't know what it is. I think it's the sex addiction. I think it's because they're all sex addicts and money addicts and drug addicts and also violent offenders, violent addicts. That's great in this country. That's why right. you've never liked me. Oh, you that's great because I don't bow down to you. I don't bow down to your so-called your idolatry. That's great in the form of money God and sex God and drug God. You name it. You name it. So stop it. Drop it now. Now you know what I'm about. I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less about any man in this country. Whether you're married or you're single. You want to be satisfied? Go to the brothels. That's correct. Go and teach your wives. To, 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 to teach, you, teach them how to satisfy you. So you won't need to go for seconds. Or for leftovers. That's correct. But don't you dare blame other people. That's correct. Especially this noble. For your problems. When things don't go your way. 
Maybe, and, and, and is it my fault that you miscalculated? Did I miscalculate? Is it my job to give you, that's correct, tell you what to do? The idiots? <clears throat> right. Let me end this so-called preaching this evening. Well, the, the, this day. Uh, with this reading, a reading from the Bible. Psalm 1, one of my favorite psalms. And this psalm is totally relevant. Maybe, remember, I'm at war with the white demon and red demon. You all know that. But it looks like I'm also at war with the treaty God in this country. Right. Psalm 1, verse 1 to 6 is so relevant. Let me read it. Let me, let me be given the honor and the privilege to read it, to read it to you all. Now, it won't be the last time I read it, but at least if it's the first time and the second time, let's hope, I don't know, that something's going to sink in, that something's going to sink into your fucking thick brains. I don't know, a thousand times, I don't know how many times, how many people have preached to you, have mentored to you, whether it be in prison, whether it be in some sort of rehabilitation facility, or whether it be at schools or uni or some form. Man, I don't know how many times I preach. And even Nick, I know over 2,000 persons they've gone into pre to preach to them. I hope, I hope that this preaching is going to somehow, if it's going to piss the fuck out of you, that there's something about your lives and your lies and your addictions, then by damn well, get off your so-called lazy ass and do something about it. You hear me? Psalm 1. This one to 6. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, no standeth in the way of sinners, no sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he doeth, he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but I like the chaff which the wind driveth away. That is what it's like for a lot of you weeds mm. and a lot of the poor sheep. They've been hit from here, from, from left to right, and even from, from behind and front. That's great. Man, we, we don't know where to turn to. That's great. That's what you've been doing, white demon and red demon. That's great. But thank God I am still standing firm in my God. And I'm still standing firm, and I mean firmly today. Like the tree planted by the rivers of water. There ain't nothing you can do that will ever make me denounce, denounce, let alone deny the existence of my God. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. I read, O oh Lord, great thanks, O oh Lord, amen. And what I ask do I do differently with my 150 uh, war program that's going on at the moment? Well, I think the Knights of Chiefs know what it really, what it boils down to, the script. Then anything in your life that you need to overcome, whether it be addictions, disputes, any legal disputes, anything that you need to bury, and, and yeah, that's great, so you, so you can devote yourself completely. Right, that's what this 150 Days War program is about. Yes, and I do shower with cold water. For real, for real. That's probably why I didn't age... I didn't, I didn't look like an old hag or an old dinosaur, let alone a tired old mule. That's correct. Because I showered in cold water. But know this. Showering cold water, I've discovered, that's correct, can change your DNA, can change your DNA. 
So for those who are sick, who have, you know, all sorts of, that's great. You, I wouldn't be surprised if, say, 10 years from now, you, you'd stop, you're going to be wow, that's great, completely. But I'm already whole, I'm already whole. Because I am sane, and you know, you see how I'm talking? The way that I minister to you all, that's great, is because I'm sane, and it's because my eyes are what? It's because I've got godly eyes. Oh, thank God I have got godly eyes. I can just imagine if I had some other pair of eyes that, that were sort of, maybe sort of satanic and demonic and depraved kind of eyes. Thank God I've got godly eyes. That's correct. Now you know what it means to shout and call water. The holy, shout, the, the holy shield, holy armors, well, that's why you shout with the lemons. And those rules are important because they are actually holy shields and holy armors. How you, over time, in, in 150 days, and the prayers, you're going to be so rock solid. You're going, I wouldn't be surprised if you become in 10 years time and even 8 years time, 5 years time, um, that you will become like Samson, that you will become like a fully fledged flying, uh, you know, Knights Templar. You can do all, you can do all things and nothing can stop you. That's correct. Now, yes, the lemon, I shower the lemon. But I do something like I waste not. I waste not my gifts and I squander nothing. So I eat the lemon. Mm, I wash the, the you know, I, 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 that's great. I shower with the lemon. Shower with the dishwashing liquid first. And then wash that off. Then I apply the lemon all over my body. That's great. Then I wash the lemon, the half a lemon. And then I eat it. Then I eat it. So that's what I do. Mm. I don't waste. Now, like most Germans, we don't waste nothing. Now, if you think that's weird and crazy, just wait, just wait until the second of the second coming comes. The spirit of our Lord. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. You're gonna see something that you wish now you had listened to me, and you wish you had applied those rules, and you had wished that's great that you'd gotten everything buried before before the coming. That's correct. So, if it's too late, it's too late. If you miss out, that's too bad. You know what? Everybody. Is on their own. You are on your own. That's great. You will do things on your own. You will think on your own. That's great. You will learn to not depend on other people for God's sake. And I'm talking about my Knights of Chiefs. Learn to apply things. That's great. And see what you learn from it. Gain from it. Well now you know why the Knights of Chiefs cannot marry. That's great. They have to be single. Anyway, you all have a nice uh, evening or morning, wherever you are on this planet. And uh, I hope that but with this preaching, I hope I inspire you, but give you strength. If I don't give you strength, then I hope I give you hope. And if that's all that I can give you at the end of this preaching, good luck. And the only thing I say is good luck and good news. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, lots of hugs and kisses, especially to my precious little munchkins, and special lot, sorry lots, who are probably staring at me right now, and throughout my preaching, and are laughing, and, and that's right, and are giggling. Uh, my Holy Ghost children, Froggy Baby Willow, Joey, um, no, Riley, Joey, Coco Nunchkin, Little Cheeky, and especially Auntie Sarah, say Sarah forever, they all want to say good morning. And good night, wherever you are. And that we, we send my Holy Ghost family and my two archangels. We all send our love and, and, and uh, hugs and kisses to you all. That's great. And, and hope that you all have a lovely week. And the rest of the year, and the rest of the year that you're going to be prospering. And that you're going to be doing something more positive. Mm. To turn your lives around, wherever you are. Whatever God gives you, and whatever you've got on your plate, or in your hands, if you've got nothing, I tell you right now, get up and, and what? And, 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 and pray. Get up. Mm. And do and help yourself. And do and make with what you've got. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.